And why are our most prominent spaces kept for people that tried to destroy America rather than to lift it up? As monuments went up, black men, women, and children were being lynched. The Confederate monument served as a reminder of the power that white supremacists could and would exert over black bodies. These monuments became beacons of white supremacy and symbols of an effort to intimidate black Americans into seeing themselves as inferior and less than. These monuments do nothing to teach us of the dark lessons of our history, but are the very center of the white supremacist racist imagination. I fully believe, along with a host of other amazing citizens of this great country, that black lives matter. And for us to continue to celebrate a man who questioned the education, disparaged the right to vote of black life, and had previously fought for the continued enslavement of Africans on the North American continent is an affront to those now who are suffering under current weights of oppression. I'm pleased to be part of that. These memorials and statues certainly speak to who we as a nation used to be, but what we choose to do with them now speak to who we are today. So again, thanks for great testimony from our witnesses. And if I could start with Reverend Lee, uh, Reverend, you are such a powerful messenger on these subjects. Thank you so much for doing this. I think you show that we don't have to honor dark aspects of our heritage by walking in the same footsteps as ancestors who got it wrong. Uh, 